Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today I'm in the garage. I'm working on this is actually my buddy's uh, commercial 36 inch Yazoo Keys uh, walk behind mower. And what we're doing today is we're going to be replacing the drive belts on here. And if you've ever screwed around with these walk behind mowers, they can be a little bit tricky to get adjusted. And this procedure should work for a lot of the big manufacturers of walk behind mowers. So I already did one side, we're gonna do the other side and uh, hopefully this thing will work out and at least track properly. That's the problem, trying to get them to go straight and stop when you want. So you wanna be careful on the adjustments you make. So these are the belts, it's kind of like a double belt and it's cogged. That's the OEM part. It's a Husqvarna belt that they use on this particular tractor. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by marking some things. So if you look at these threaded rods for adjustment, I start out with a paint marker, just marking exactly where everything is so that when we go to adjust it, we know how to put it back to where it was. So we're going to start loosening this thing up. First step is going to be to take off the wheel, but before we take it off, there's a needle bearings in there and they will fall out if they're not greased well. So I'm going to go ahead and grease this. So we're going to get in here with my grease gun. There we go. And we'll give it a few pumps. The pneumatic grease gun is definitely the way to go. They even make some that are battery powered. Alright, we're starting to come out a little bit. First step is to remove the wheel. So they have a C clip on here. This one happens to have a lot of grease on it. So we'll pop this off. And then there should be two washers on here. So we'll spin this a little bit to help grease up that spindle and we'll see if we can slip this guy out of here. Alright, the belt's loose enough that I can get that off. Now there's a little bracket here that I'm going to need to turn, I don't know if you could see that. So on this particular tractor, there's a little bracket here that fits in those V pulleys. I'm going to turn that up a little bit and I should be able to slide the wheel off. Your brake needs to be kind of disengaged or loose in order to slide that off. All right. So there's that tire, and we want to be careful because we don't want to lose those needle bearings. And this has a washer that stays on the inside, so I'll put that back. Alright, next step, we're going to detension that spring. So you got to be careful with these springs, they're always under high tension. And what we're going to do is... I have this rod that I use for pulling the springs and an S clip. I'm going to try and hook that on the spring and give it a little bit of a pull. There we go. So now we safely have the spring loose. The next thing we're going to do is remove this plate. And it looks like that bolt is spinning. Another bolt up here. And then there's 
one bolt on the inside. We gotta take this one out so that we can uh, remove the belt. I, I think we can just loosen it up enough that this will pivot so that we can get the belt out. I'm thinking we have enough right there. So I could slip this sleeve off. And as long as I can get the belt out, I should be able to get the new one in. There we go. So to install the belt, there's no uh, direction needed on the belt. It can go either way. But we're going to start by trying to slip it on this back pulley. And then it goes under that idle or pulley. This uh, guard goes there. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, I think the next thing I want to do is slip the wheel on. And then... Now you got to make sure that your brake is, is loose. So I'm just trying to line up the belt, kind of roll the pulley on, or the belt on. All right, I'm going to have to loosen up the, the brake a little bit. So that's why we mark these things. Make sure you guys are still there. Because I can't get the tire in enough because we're hitting on that brake shoe thing. I think if I can roll the belt on. We can get inside the shoe. There we go. Just not quite in the brake yet. So I'm gonna have to take a screwdriver. Let me move you guys. So I just noticed here I'm grabbing this handle. And that there we go. That that really helped. So it's sort of like a snow blower when you're doing the adjustment, you gotta pull the handle a little. All right, so we got that on there. And all right, we'll put on our washers here, plenty of grease, our keeper. Slip that guy on. So that's good. So we'll put one side on and then we're going to put on our S hook and then we're going to hook on our tensioner. And I'll set my glasses. 
try and get it from underneath. Oh, there we go. Woo! Tight. Okay, guys. I got the uh, wing nuts and tensioners back where they were, but the problem is that doesn't necessarily mean that they're in the right spot because this new belt's going to ride differently. So this is where the fun begins. See it's locked. So uh, we gotta loosen the brakes. Let's make sure that's in neutral. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. So we're gonna loosen this wing nut up. Looks like that one will move. Now I'm going to loosen this side. All right, guys, so I was able to get it adjusted, and, you know, when you're doing one of these jobs, it's something that you always need to keep in mind. These can be very tricky to adjust because there's all kinds of different springs, rods, mechanisms, safeties, um, and some of these rods are bent from getting hit on a trailer by other mowers, so you always want to be careful when you're adjusting it. I always, you know, try and mark them before I move them so I know where they were at. And they're not going to be at the same spot because I was taking off a stretched out belt. But one of the things to keep in mind is you need to adjust this rod so this handle up here has enough movement. That's the first thing you want to adjust. And then you want to set the brake. And when you squeeze the handle, this locks and it, this tire stops. And that makes the other tire move and that's how they turn. So just so you know, if you're adjusting one of these, you need to adjust the other one. You're going to have to uh, adjust both these rods on each side if you're trying to adjust your walk behind. It is not the easiest thing to do, and it does take a little bit of patience, and you always have that 15, 20 minutes of uh, driving around, testing out to make sure it's right, because you don't want your belts popping off, and you don't want this thing coming back. All right, guys, so anyhow, I'm double wide six. Good luck with uh, your walk behind mower trying to get it to run evenly and stop and turn evenly. It can be tricky. Just take your time, and, you know, if, if it's not working out, don't be afraid to just walk away from it and come back with a clear head on another day. So thanks for watching, guys. Be safe and have a good day.